can see the beach is absolutely loaded with sea glass. Got the crew here, got the boys, got mom here, and we are ready to do some sea glass hunting. There's tons and tons of sea grass on the beach today, kind of covering up a lot of the glass. So we brought some rakes with us. You can kind of peel back the surface there and see how much glass is just like right beneath the surface there. That's how you're gonna find your rarest pieces. So let's take a walk down the beach and see what we can find. Oh, I see a really good pink piece right here. Check this out. Nice pink. Awesome, mom, you having fun? Yeah. Awesome, pretty cool, right? Looking for treasure. Looking for treasure. Awesome, I'll give you guys a low and slow on the ground here. Show you all the unique and cool colors there are. Lots of neat shapes, lots of really big pieces. Of course, lots of the typical colors, but lots of other ones too. Oh yeah, it's a uh, honey amber. That's a nice color. I like the color of a dark a maple syrup. Yeah, no, it's a good one. Anything you like is good. If you think it's pretty, pick it up. Yeah. What are you guys finding over there? Anything good? Found a couple blues. Couple blues, nice. No reds yet. No reds. All right, we want to be looking for marbles too. There's lots of good marbles around here. Oh, uh, it looks like a honey amber. That's a good color. All right, well, let's work on down to the mangroves and see if we can find some cool stuff under there. Hey, what you got right here? Cool, right? You ever seen so much glass in your life? No. Yeah, that's sweet bottle bottom, dude. Come check out this new, new one I see over here. It looks really cool. Let's see, I just spotted it. It was a bright purple. Oh yeah, there it is. Check this out. It's a nice one. Look at that. Cool, right? It's got a kind of a pattern to it. Yeah. And then it's bright purple on the inside. It's sick. That's a pretty sweet piece, right? Yeah, Heck yeah. Alright, the boys are in the woods, digging up, hoping to find some good stuff. See there's some really good stuff here on the front of this little micro beach as well. So check that out. Definitely see a little blue right there. See a nice piece of bonfire there as well. Yeah, that one's sweet, almost looks like an ear. It's got a cool shape to it. And then uh, see some more, a little chippier kind of piece of blue, so we'll leave those ones be for now. Nice seafoam, Julie, you see how well worn that one is right there, that's pretty sweet. And then yeah, it's kind of looking up high and low. You can see the beach, the water definitely came up this high last night, so there should be some good stuff under here. But if you kick around these piles, Oftentimes, really cool pieces will be just below the surface. And even up here, I mean, look how much sea glass there is. Look how big all these pieces are. Just absolutely huge. Tons and tons of bottle bottoms. Um, and then really thick chunks. Like that's a cool citron piece. Look how thick that is. Really neat. And yeah, just digging it back, finding those rare pieces. Nice to have some help today. You just never know what you're gonna find at a beach like this. The further, further up the beach we go, typically the more one-of-a-kind pieces we'll be finding. So keeping our eyes peeled. There's a good blue one right here. Above and below, moving these mangrove branches around a little bit. Hoping to see something good. I'm gonna try digging up that spot right there. Just a little bit. We brought some rakes for the boys to use. And then I got my stick here. Handy dandy stick. Always good to have, it's got a nice little hook on it. So let's see if I can one-hand this. Oh, yep, I see a blue popped right out of us there. Nice little, almost pendant-shaped piece. Oh, I found a big blue. Found a big blue? Let's see it, buddy. Wait. Oh, it's right there. Not too big. Yeah. Still worth good. picking up, right? Yeah. Let me check it out. Cool, man. That's a nice one. You going to give it to your mom and sister? Maybe. You're going to keep it for yourself? I don't know. <laughs> good call, good call. So yeah, sometimes just under these little piles of leaves you can find some pretty decent stuff. I like these big gray pieces as well. That's that's awesome right there. And ooh, look at that. Some kind of handle from a jug or something along those lines. Pretty neat, almost like a minty green. Alright. Dig up this a little bit more. Definitely good to have a tool when you're working with so much sea glass, it's so thick. So this used to be a trash dump here. That's why you'll see so much trash 
Um, we pick up our fair share, but you can't get it all. You would need a, not a small army, but a, a large formation of troops to come in here and get all this trash. And it would still, it would take weeks, months even. Yo, dude, what do you got? I got like a multicolor, it's red. Oh, blue, no way. Dude, where'd you find that? It's way over there. It was in the water. Cool. That's one of the neatest pieces I've ever seen, man. That's got a lot of colors to it. That's called art glass. Yeah, nice. And sometimes they make it like really fancy bases and stuff. They kind of have a confetti color scheme to them. That's nice, dude. That's the best one I've seen in a minute. Good job. Mm -hmm. Jealous. Ooh, I see a sweet pattern piece right there. It almost looks like an angel wing, doesn't it? That's neat. And then I saw a purple. Look at that nice, like dark lavender. That's a, nice one. That's a cool color, right? Yeah, that's dope. That's really cool. Yeah. And sometimes there's some good stuff just right under the surface. So this is from the bottom of an old Clorox bleach bottle. They stopped making them out of glass in 1963, but you can see it still says Clorox yeah, right that's there. Sick. Neat, right?